Hello, stampers. Welcome to Handmade with Holly. My name is Holly Michelson, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Del Mar, New York. Del Mar is a suburb of Albany, the capital of New York State. And tonight, I'm bringing you a video tutorial about how to apply your stickers to your brand new Stampin' Up! ink pads. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the camera so that you can see my work surface and what I'm doing. When you get your brand new ink pads, they come in shrink wrap. And so we're gonna start with our snips and get underneath the plastic so that we can remove it. There we go. Now, when you have the brand new ink pad, the way to open them is to put your thumb right here at this indent and then flip up the lid. And once it's flat, not on an angle, but when it's flat, you can then gently push the ink pad through the grooves and lay it on a flat surface. This will give you a really sturdy surface for you to ink up your stamps with. Um, when you have the stamp pad open, you'll notice it's kind of hard to tell what color it is. Is this black? Is this brown? Is this a dark green? What is this? Um, and so we want to apply a label on this inside groove that will indicate to us what color this ink pad is when it's open. Um, and also we're going to apply a sticker on the front so that when our stamp pads are stored in a caddy, we can easily find them. Um, in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and close up this pad. So I'm going to put my fingers in this groove, pull it straight forward, flip, and snap. Okay, so if we look here on the back, you can see that the ink pad comes with five different stickers. The first four of them all give us the name of the ink pad, English, French, German and Japanese. And then the last sticker is a color sticker that we can put on the inside of the pad so that we can tell what color it is. Um, I'm going to use my snips to just get underneath this sticker and be able to grab the name. I apologize for my inky fingers. I have been playing with these ink pads a little bit and I have ink all over them. Um, once you have the name sticker, just you're just gonna go ahead and put it on the front of your ink pad, taking care to align it so that it's centered left and right and top and bottom. What I generally do is eyeball the letters in the word along this little notch. So I temporarily put that there and kind of looked back a little bit to see if I thought it was centered. I think it looks pretty good. So now I'm just gonna use my finger to smooth it out and press it down. And now what's great is when your ink pad is in a caddy and you're looking at it head on, you can very easily see that this is basic gray and take it out of your caddy. So let's go ahead and grab that sticker that provides the color indication on the inside. Um, so we're going to go ahead and again put our thumb in that our thumb in the groove and we're going to lift up. Once it's flat, we're going to slide it closed and then I can put my ink pad down on the surface. I now have my color coded sticker and I'm just going to work to put it in this little groove. Um, some people prefer to do this with tweezers. I prefer to do it with my fingers. I feel like I have a little bit more control that way. Um, that is slightly crooked though. So I am going to use my tweezers to see if I can't lift it up a hair and make a minor adjustment. I find the tweezers a little bit difficult. I like my fingers, but the tweezers do help me to get up and under there. So I'm just going to straighten that out a smidge and lay it down again. There we go. 
these tweezers get a little press and there we have it. So clearly when you have your ink pad open, um, here's a great example. This is Mossy Meadow. If I put these two ink pads side by side from the pad itself, it's incredibly difficult to tell that this is Mossy Meadow and that this is basic gray. But if I come down here and I look at my stickers, it's very obvious that this is my Mossy Meadow pad and that this is my basic gray pad. So I find these inside stickers to be incredibly helpful when I have multiple inks open and I'm working back and forth. Now that I'm finished adhering my stickers, I'm gonna go ahead and put my fingers in the groove, pull straight forward, flip over, and then snap it shut. And there you have it. It's as easy as that to go ahead and get the stickers applied to your new ink pads. So I thank you very much for watching my video. And if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Thumbs up helps me attract more viewers on YouTube. I am new to creating tutorials and I'm trying to build up my viewership. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please click the subscribe button and then click on the yellow bell. The yellow bell will ensure that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Happy stamping.